Okay, welcome to part four of how to create an upload script. We've created the upload script now, and we're just creating like a user type page to view these files. So we need to get a blank um, PHP file and create this show files .php and set the PHP tags. Um, and basically we're going to create a variable called path and this is going to be equal to the path of where the actual file is located now if you're on a if you're using a web server well first off let me show you how if you're using a local server it's basically just if you go to your, your actual um, directory which is here if you click on, if you're on Vista or uh, Windows 7, I think XP already shows it up. Um, if you click on a little folder here, you'll get this, and this is basically your full. If you copy that into um, there, that's basically your. Um, I need to put a speech mark around it. That's your full path of um, where the file is located. Now, if you are on a web server, you'll have a load of other directories before you f you one that you know, which um, you'll have to use this script, which I will show you now. Um, if you create a blank PHP, um, just call it something like full path dot PHP, and basically. Um, what you need is you need to just echo out to yourself the directory name of where the, f the file is physically located if you know what I mean I think you just need that so if I save that out and um, just have a look at this uh, full path uh, maybe you do need them underscores then. I'm not sure why, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's something like a load of underscores. Um, I don't know how many. Um, just just the two, I think. If I save that out, there we go. Two on. We need. You need to put and two underscores before file and two underscores after the file, and you'll get um, your full directory. If you're on a web server, like you'll get um, your main ones that you know near the end, and then you'll have your domain, and then a load of other directories. What your actual your web host uses where you're actually located on that server because you're not you're not the only person using that server um, so yeah use that copy that over um, I think that's what I'm, I want to use files so yeah we've got something there now we've not getting page cannot be displayed um, so basically in the show files uh, we're just going to put here um didn't I create the um but anyway yeah path copy it over you need um speech marks around it right so we've got the um the path now we need to open that directory so to open directory just create a folder called um directory or dir if you prefer that and at open the is a function and in here you want to open the folder what you put in path you don't need to put um, that there you can physically just copy that into there but to make it look a bit more better uh, easy to read and um, you can do that or die if um, if it cannot be found or cannot be opened for some reason you can just put in um, cannot 
open and then you can put in here the path and it'll say can it open and the path you've selected um, and now we need to show all the files so to do this we're just going to create a while loop and in this while loop we're just going to say uh, file equals read reader which is read directory and we need to read the directory we got here so basic I'll, um, I'll go through the script um, after we've done it all just to like show you what everything means because it's kind of complicated but easy to understand once you know what's going on um, so basically inside this while loop we're going to say if um actually I'll talk to you about that after and I'll show you what comes up if you don't create an if statement inside the loop. So now we're going to close the directory. So if you type close the and basically just put your directory directory there and that's your script. If we save that out, refresh that, we can now we should see actually show files .php. right why is it not coming up with anything I know why because these oh, one minute, it should be right I know um, we actually need to we've not actually echoed out anything to the user we've just told it to you know read all the files in that directory but what we need to say is echo um, and we're just going to create something a little complicated in this um, inside here we're going to create um, the link which is ahref if you don't already know and the link is going to be um, can it onto that the file name and can it onto that we need um, um, so we need to just end that there we need to concatenate it onto that just an empty space I think no we need to end that there um, told you it gets a little confusing um, even I'm getting a little confused so we need to put concatenate on into that the file um, forward slash finish that off there right so that should work fine um, let me just have a look uh, right, we need one there um, we still Got an error. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what's up with this error. Let me just have a quick try at first. I'm gonna see what's up with this error and join me back in the next part, part five, um, to show you what what I did and how to fix this problem, and to show you the final result. So I'll see you in part five.